Okay, so we are, in my opinion, the UK's number one glee group, um, <laughs> Aspire. Um, we raise money for the Rob Knox Memorial Fund and basically we're here today at the Apollo Theatre um, to sing Defying Gravity, which is probably the most important song uh, in Wicked and the most <laughs> difficult song I think we've ever sung. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're coming in today to sing our Glee arrangement with special Glee choreography um, <laughs> for some of the production team and the cast of Wicked for them to give us some pointers to uh, hopefully improve our performance. So we're all very excited and very, 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 very nervous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Power comes from our hands, so choreographically, yeah. um, you know that needs to be powerful every time you use it. Because you're using that as a kind of logo, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So um, you know, make sure that we feel Elphaba's power coming through the hands. Yes, anything yeah, else? Absolutely. I think as well for you, for you guys, because you're repeating that quite a few times. Um, and, no, that's but, good. No, but it, no, obviously it's, it gives you a bit of continuity through the whole thing. But also, it's about where that energy comes from. If you're kind of rooted in your, in your feet and you're quite solid and you're just kind of doing an arm movement, for your arm to just kind of shift without it kind of coming from anywhere, mus like from muscular, then it does, it kind of looks a bit strange. So I think it's about as well, the other thing is like musicality folding onto the vocals is all of you listening to the same phrases and then physically responding to that just to tidy it up. And if you look at those glee clubs and obviously especially in, in the, in the programme, how tight they are. Mm -hmm. Those routines are so slick and it's something that especially Americans do. They're used to it with the cheerleading and all of that. They are so tight, but it all comes from a very musical place. And I think 
it's about being musical. And if you can hear those phrases together, then you will respond physically. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just, again, it's just to follow on. It's uh, telling the story. Uh, there's so many shifts. You know, it starts off with a really powerful argument, and then Glinda or whoever you've set to sort of play that warms and says, no, it's okay, you can still do this, you can achieve it, and she becomes supportive to help her. Um, uh, and then the unlimited section with the boys is just that sense of wonderment, you know, to really sing into those phrases and, and enjoy it. Um, and just to, yeah, to carry on from Adam, uh, I hope you're happy, my friend, things like that. Just those note lengths there, mm -hmm. yeah? it sort of got shorter and, and went down the line. <laughs> so just a, a few little things to, to neaten up. And again, the physicality of singing, I'm going to pick on you because you did the riff at the end. Be empowered when you sing that. Stand, support the instrument and sing. I saw you doing that as soon as you started to sing it, you know, which... <laughs> well, no, 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 it's always lovely okay, that no. you feel that, but then you're weakening okay. the support mechanism and, you, yeah. you know, so just ground it and it'll be much easier. Thank you. Yeah. And actually a good opportunity as well in that, in your physical moments that you have during, especially there where you're bringing then effectively your ensemble in, physically having something that you then do physically that brings everybody in. So helping each other out on your cutoffs and all of that stuff, physic and applying some physical beats through the, through the routine that can heighten those cutoffs. Mm. So when you bring everybody in after you've done the ah, 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 and you know everyone comes in on that that down, you could have something physically that you kind of heighten so that everybody kind of comes in together. Mm -hmm. It's something she does in the number with her broom, and so she has this kind of moment where she does her arm, she does ah, 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 and then it goes down, and as she pushes the broom out, all the ensemble then come in. So there, because obviously we're looking upstage. Normally we'd be able to look out at the monitors and watch James conducting us. But at that moment, it's important that our focus is Elphaba. So then with your focus being that person, she then is then responsible for conducting the ensemble at that, at that time. So that's, that's something good you can and do. And also, I think from the acting point of view, especially at the very beginning when the two soloists start, you really have got to think about what you're saying. Um, I think there's one bit, um, Elfie, listen to me. You know, I think the other girl could look up rather than keep down, you know, because she is actually commanding her to say, look, listen to me, I've got something very important to tell you. And I think you could have just made it a little bit less choreographed, mm -hmm. and it is like two people talking to each other, and then the other, there's another two, isn't there, say yeah. another line. Yeah. And, and again, it, it just makes it alive, it makes it a less robotic, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And again, it means that you're conveying the sentiment and the drama behind the song. Mm. Yeah. Everything should have a meaning. You know, think about what Petra's saying, think about the lyrics and what you're saying and listen to each other as well. You know, you're working as a team. So not only listening to what you're all saying to each other, but also, you know, breathing together, you know, feeling each other, you know, around you and just when everyone's breathing and cutoffs and harmonies especially. You know, it's great when they're so together and, and it builds, it's such a great energy. And also, I think just, you know, look where you are when you're on this stage and just yeah. enjoy it. That should absolutely come out of you. You know, in the eyes especially, I'll always just look into someone's eyes and see if they're really, they're really in the moment and they're thinking about what they're doing and that everything you do has a meaning. You know, like Adam was saying, every movement, every movement even, should come from somewhere. It shouldn't just be an arm the sake of an arm mm -hmm. it should come because you just you have to do that you know so I just think I thought it was absolutely fantastic and yeah. I love I love all the ba ba bars and all that <laughs> and the <laughs> harmonies <Yeah. laughs> do you know that actually the canon the harmony you said yeah. the canon it's such a simple idea that you, that you did on the end that's but it's really it's really effective because that's what theatre is about so often it's the simplest things have the most mm. impact mm. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. We wrote a section of